Mark Wahlberg. Welcome to Free For All, where these two teams are going to battle it out to show just how smart they are. Today, Elisa Coton brought Phyllis and Don to help her, up, Hi, help her out. Nice to see you. Good yeah. luck to your team. Thank you. They're going to face off against Maureen Bosenko with husband Bill and sister-in-law Leslie, right? Is that another record? The game is played in three distinct and different rounds. The team with the most points at the end of round three goes on to the free-for-all bonus for cash and a chance to win a great vacation getaway. I know you guys want to get headed towards that direction, so let's get started. Here's your first toss-up question. It's a free-for-all. Anyone can lock in. Good luck. X-ray vision, super sensitive hearing, or a super sense of smell, which is not a superpower of... Yes, Bill? Smell. Super of Superman. Yes, he doesn't smell any better than you and I. The other stuff he does well. That's good for 25 points. In fact, all the questions in this round are worth 25 points. Now, Bill, you get to pick a category for a follow-up question. There are four choices. Let me show them to you. King Arthur. Famous firsts. Author, author. Say cheese. Bill? Uh, Whatever you want. King Arthur. King Arthur. Now, remember, you can confer on your answer, and this question is just for your team, so good luck. At the round table, one place was always left open for what legendary cup? Uh, the, the Holy Grail. Okay. okay. The Holy Grail. Very good, Bill. That's good for 25 points. Well done. We'll go to another free-for-all question. Everybody plays. Ecuador, Panama, or Honduras? Where do they manufacture the Panama hat? Yes, Phyllis. Ecuador. Panama. No, incorrect. Chance if you know. Ring Ecuador. in if you do. Honduras. No, they make them in Ecuador. Oh. <laughs> That's why they call them the Panama hat, of course. No, they have some tropical plant there that they make from the leaves, and it makes the hats perfect. And Panama says, can we just call it after our country? We don't have the plants, but we'll take it. Uh, free for all question now. Everybody's in. Glass doors, power tools, or stairs? According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, what causes the most... Yes, Don? Glass doors. No, incorrect. What causes the most household accidents? Stairs. Yes. Stairs. 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 Right, Leslie. Very good. Stairs. King Arthur, we will, we will replace with a new category for you. Color My World, it's your choice, Leslie. Author, author. Um, author, author. This chief of British naval intelligence went on after World War II to write a series of books about super spy James Bond. Uh, Ian Fleming. Ian Fleming. Oh. Ian Fleming, very good. You guys are, oh, oh, I know that one. Doesn't help in this part. All right, we'll go to a free for all question where you can go, oh, oh, and let me know what's right. Hopefully. Hopefully. Meet the Press, General Hospital, or 60 Minutes. What is the longest running show? Yes, Leslie. 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Incorrect. Longest running show in American television history. General Hospital. Ring the bell and tell me what you think. General Hospital. No, it wasn't. Uh -oh. No. Meet the, Meet the press. Since 1947. General Hospital just feels okay. like it's run longer than any other show. I just listened to Don. Yeah. Sorry, Don. That was incorrect. We'll try another one for everybody. Ava, Zsa, Zsa or Magda. Which one of the Gabor sisters is... Yes, Phyllis. The oldest. Zsa, Zsa. No. Say something. <laughs> I'll finish the question for you. Wrong on several accounts, Phyllis, but still a nice lady. Which one of the Gabor sisters is the youngest? Maureen. Ava. Ava. No, oh. Magda. That's why we don't hear too much about her. Oh. The other sisters won't let her out of the house because she's younger. <laughs> Let's try another one here since we all know our Gabor trivia so well. 25%, 50%, or 75%. What percentage of nuts is estimated to be lost by squirrels? Yes, Maureen. 75, 75%. No, lost by squirrels because they forgot where they put them. <laughs> Elisa. 25%. No, 50% of squirrels don't remember where they put them. <laughs> Ironically, they can't find their keys either. We'll try another one. Red, yellow, or... Just a second. Okay, you don't have points. You have few points. Let's continue. <laughs> Red, yellow, or blue. What color M&Ms were temporarily... Yes, Elisa. Red. Temporarily <laughs> taken out of circulation. Red. Welcome to the game, Alicia. Glad to have you here. there. Now you get to pick a category. We'll get rid of author, author. We add a new one. Legend has it. What would you like? How about Color My World? All right. What did Winston Churchill, Thomas Jefferson, and Lucille Ball have in common? Oh, dear Lord. What? Red hair? They were all had red hair. I can take it. You started yes. your answer before the bell. Very good. Very good. Yes. <laughs> Good for 25 points. I don't know how you pull that one out there. They smoke a cigar. They all smoke cigars. I've never seen Lucy smoke a cigar. One well, Lucy yeah, on one Lucy episode. Yeah. Everybody plays now. Coughing, sneezing, or fainting. What activity was the star attraction in the first? Elisa. Coughing. No. Oh, well. First, uh, first motion picture copyrighted in the United States. 
sneezing. 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 A captivating documentary on the art of sneezing. Done in 1884, and that's good for 25 points. We'll get rid of Color My World. We add Beam Me Up, Maureen. Uh, beam Me Up. On Star Trek, his middle name was Tiberius. Captain, Captain Kirk. James Captain T. Kirk. James T. Kirk. James T. Kirk. That's right, James T. Kirk. Tiberius. I didn't know that. Time is up. Let's see what we do. 50 points for you, Elisa. Good for you. 150 points for Maureen's team. When we come back, we'll meet our players and we'll double the point values right after these messages. Here we go. Promotional consideration provided by. If you'd like to save up to 50% on your contact lenses, eyeglasses, and eye exams, call for a free Lens Express catalog and find out how you can start saving right away. Flack attack by Reg E. Gaines. What's Flack? Check Joe getting sacked. Flack saved Joe's back. Make a break from the pack. Get Flack Man, Flack Man, Flack Man, Flack, 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 Flack. This USA Network program is brought to you by Dentine. Brush your breath clean with regular and sugar-free Dentine. Hi, sporty, huh? Ma'am. Forget to brush your breath today? Cause you roll down the window, ma'am. Well, next time chew Dentine. That snappy, tingly taste will brush your breath clean. Dentine. If you can't find the Terminex number... Where's that number? Just remember 1-800-TERMINEX for any bug problem. I know I have that number. Nobody offers a better guarantee. So stop looking and start dialing. Nobody bugs bugs like Terminex. Everybody hates to eat more. We'd rather take it slow. But the way this life is going, gotta grab your food and go. And when all that running round catches up with you at last, get yourself some Alka Salsa and you'll feel better fast. For acid indigestion or heartburn with headache, nothing makes you feel better faster than Alka Seltzer. Get yourself some Alka Seltzer and you'll feel better fast. Hey, have you heard the latest scoop? What's that? A serving of Kellogg's Raisin Bran cereal in milk. That's a two scoops thing, right? It's just 45 cents. It's news to me. Can I taste one? Please do. Mmm! How about those raisins, huh? I see more than I can tell. Raisins are looking good. And how does this look to you? Oh, I can't beat that. Everybody should have such a bargain. And now they do. Hit me with the headline. Kellogg's Raisin Bran for 45 cents. Just part of the value in having breakfast with Kellogg's. Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Excellent. <laughs> My basic love of dogs and my experience breeding dogs makes me enjoy my career as a veterinarian even more. David Qualls, top breeder of champion Siberian Huskies and doctor of veterinary medicine. We give our dogs pedigree as a source of meat in their diet. When you open a can of Choice Cuts, there's big meaty chunks and a rich brown gravy. You can really smell the meatiness. Pedigree contains no soy. Pedigree is a very digestible and very nutritious dog food. For my money, Pedigree is the best dog food you can buy. Pedigree, developed with vets, recommended by top breeders. Remember the ultimate test of a household cleaner? Well, we topped it with mustard, sauerkraut, chili, the works. On greasy surfaces like this, you wouldn't use a glass cleaner. And on glass, spray cleaners would leave streaks. But 409 Glass and Surface Cleaner cleans both. It cuts the grease and cleans the glass, even grease on glass, to a streak-free shine. 409 Glass and Surface Cleaner, a powerful grease cutter and a glass cleaner in one. Welcome back to Free For All. Quite a game going here. Elisa Coton's team has 50 points at this point. We have 150 points for Maureen Bosenko's team. And now let's take a moment to meet our players. First of all, Elisa Coton, nice to see you. Nice to see you were you. telling me you're quite the adventurer. Yeah. Tell me what you did recently at the fair. Well, I uh, went bungee jumping just the other day. Oh, boy. Yeah, it was really exciting. We took an 87 feet plunge. And you and your husband. Um, well, my boyfriend Don and I. Oh, Don, I, not husband. No. You want to see if she can defy death yeah. before you're going to marry her. And we'll go skydiving. You'll go skydiving shortly in a week. Shortly. Yeah, yeah. Well, you guys live on the edge. Thank the edge you. <laughs> Phyllis, any bungee jumping, skydiving, chasing Darling, bulls? Darling, I leave it all to my daughter. You do. Yeah. Very good. Well, glad to have you on the ground safe. Well, thank you. Don. Whose like, idea is this thrill-seeking here? Her. her. Totally her. You said, you know, she was cute, I wanted to date right. her, I didn't know I was going to have to defy death on exactly. a weekly basis. Exactly. But you're doing it well. I am. Well, good luck on a game show. Thank you will you. not defy death here. Okay. You've not lost anyone yet. Glad to have you. Hi, Maureen. Nice Hi. to see you. You have gone to Disneyland how many times? Oh, probably over 300 or 500 times. You're kidding me. I, we go at least every week or every two weeks. 
Do you ever go on Small World more than once and sing the song forever? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no? So you we avoid that part of the <laughs> 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 Yeah, that kind of gets you in the head. Yeah. Yeah. Bill, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Married to Maureen, correct? Yes. You're a PE teacher? That's correct. Okay, now what year do you teach? What grade? Uh, six, seven, eight, mostly six. Do you? I mean, you seem like a nice guy, but do you ever drop and give them 20? Do you oh, all the know? time. Oh, you do? <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe I have a PE teacher. I could get revenge right now. No. Hi, Leslie. Nice Hi. to see you. You, uh... He's my brother. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, what can I ask you about? You you live where? I live in Brea in Orange County. Okay. You, there was something cool on the card. Oh, I, that's what I wanted to tell you. I knew there was something that you'd written down there. Tell me about your engagement. You almost swallowed your ring? Yes. My husband, the night he proposed to me, had um, the engagement ring hidden in the dessert where we were eating dinner, and I didn't know it. Fortunately, I found the ring before I ate it. Oh, uh, that's and good. And we're happily married I now. bet he was like, glad <laughs> well, I'm glad to see yeah. everything worked out. All right. Nice to have you here. Best of luck to both teams. Let's look again at the score. 50 points for Elisa's team, 150 points for Maureen's team. All that could change now, though, because it's round two and we double the stakes. Questions are now worth 50 points, and every question is a free-for-all. Anyone can lock in. Remember that. You folks are trailing a little bit, Elisa, so you do get the advantage of picking the first choice of categories. Let me show you your four choices now. They are signs of intelligence, bestsellers, slam dunk, what's in a name? How about what's in a name? How about? Remember, it's a free-for-all. Anyone can lock in. Here's the question. What alcoholic drink was named after California surfer Tom Harvey? Yes, Maureen. Harvey Waldinger. Harvey, Waldinger. Harvey Waldinger. That's exactly right for 50 points. But do you know how they got the name? I've got to finish the question for you. Tom Harvey, a California surfer who would drink this drink and then bang into walls after he drank it. So drink it for him. Oh, Don's a bartender and he missed that? Well, you don't mix too many wall bangers, I guess. We'll go with you now, Maureen. What's in a name we will replace with fine fabrics? Um, slam dunk. That's not the slam dunk question. Here it is. <laughs> I was going to ask you something entirely different, Maureen. Everybody listen up. You can all ring in. The NBA's highest scoring game ever saw the Detroit Pistons win 186 to 183 against what Denver team? Yes, Nuggets. Bill. Denver Nuggets. The Nuggets. That's exactly right. I <laughs> <laughs> We will remove slam dunk. We add now for you Ivy League cooks. Bill, what would you like? Best sellers. In the 80s, Stephen King and Tom Clancy each had three novels which sold over a million copies in hardcover. What female author surpassed them both with four? Yes, Phyllis? Barbara Taylor. Say Say it. Barbara Taylor. No, incorrect. Chance if you know. Maureen. Mary Higgins Clark. Mary Higgins Clark. Oh, Daniel, Daniel Steele. Steele. Daniel Steele is exactly right. Good for you, Maureen. They were yelling all sorts of wrong answers to you. You get to pick a category now. Best sellers we will remove at O Solo Mio. Uh, signs of intelligence. <laughs> just makes you chuckle just saying it, huh, Phyllis? There are plenty signs of intelligence here, Phyllis. Don't worry. 10% of Japanese people are said to have IQs over 130. Is the percentage of similarly intelligent Americans higher, lower, or lower? Lower. lower. Or the same. The question is, your answer is right, lower. By only 2%, though. <laughs> Okay, very well done, Maureen. Another 50 points. Signs of intelligence will be removed from this show. We will add burning issues. Burning uh, issues is the new burning category. Issues. Okay. What 15th century peasant girl who claimed to hear voices? Joan Van Ark. Mm. Joan of Arc. No, Joan of incorrect. Arc. Sorry, I can't take Joan Van Ark. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> who claimed to hear voices was burned at the stake for her beliefs? St. Joan. Yes, and Joan she was Bar. terrific yeah. at dinosaurs, too. Very good for 50 points. You had the right idea. <laughs> Burning issues gets replaced. Right. Native Americans comes in, Phyllis. I'll wait for you. Uh, you got fabrics, Native Americans, Old Solomino, I believe fine, fine fabrics with the help of her better sided daughter. <laughs> what type of wool is made from the long from the long haired yes? Virgin wool? No, from the long haired rabbits. Oh, oh. oh. Angora. Angora. Angora, Angora. Right? Angora yes. exactly. Yes. Very good. Yes. Your choice. Elisa will remove fine fabrics. We add flip-flop. Let's try flip-flop. Oh, it sounds like so much fun. <laughs> I like it? it. You would like flip-flop, Miss like Bungie Cord Girl. Here we go. What household item has an average lifespan of a year and a half and was originally invented to shield... Yes, Elisa? A light bulb? Incorrect. <laughs> originally invented to shield people from the sun. Leslie? Uh, curtains. 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 No, it's umbrellas, guys. Uh, umbrellas. Uh, umbrellas. I say something. That's okay. I, I Back to you, Elisa. Flip-flop we will flip remove. <laughs> and we will add for you now a new category. Science lab. How about us? What do you want? Native Americans. Native Americans. For Don. 
For a dollar? For Don. <laughs> oh, I thought you said Native Americans for a dollar. For a dollar. I didn't know there was wagering. For Don. Oh, for Don, okay. Native Americans is the category. Here's the question. What Wisconsin Indian tribe has had its name appropriated by a brand of recreational vehicle? Cherokee. No, incorrect. Chance if you know. <laughs> Lisa. Anything? Bronco. Bronco. No? Oh. Winnebago. Winnebago. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah. Winnebago, do we all agree? Yeah. That's the answer I have. <laughs> then we agree. Time is up. Let's see what we have. At least 150 points at this point. 350 for Maureen Steen. Things are going to heat up when we come back from the free fall face off. Find out who's going to win the game, too. So hurry back. Promotional consideration provided by. Pledge Wood Cleaner beautifully cleans and conditions wood floors, cabinets, woodwork, and more, helping to protect and preserve wood's natural beauty. If you'd like to save up to 50% on your contact lenses, eyeglasses, and eye exams, call for a free Lens Express catalog and find out how you can start saving right away. Introducing the most durable bounty ever. It does jobs I never thought a paper towel could do. Now it's the quilted picker upper. The Quilted Quaker Maker Upper. It even scrubs the carpet. Ordinary towels fall apart, even top quality towels, but new Quilted Bounty's this much stronger. It's still quicker, too. The Quilted Quaker Maker Upper. New Quilted Bounty. There must be something in this. This is not just like blown up corn. It doesn't look like it was stamped out. It looks natural. They're not flakes. They're just little small crunchy things. Great nut cereal. What's in it for you? When it hits your mouth, you're so surprised. It's a good wake up, start the day kind of taste. It's not one that, that goes soggy in your mouth. They stay crunchy forever. It makes my body happy and it makes my mouth happy. <laughs> Grape nuts, there's lots in it for you. I think crunchy's great for you. What do you want, soggy, flabby? I mean... Look who's coming to Lifetime. Julia. Suzanne, if sex were fast food, there'd be an arch over your bed. Mary Jo. These brock ups are huge. Charlene. So give a big hug to Harold Thomas for me, and Marlene and Harlene and Darlene. And Suzanne. You must be the prettiest woman in the world. I like to think so. Four women designed for laughs. Designing women. Some traveling tips for your summer vacation. Take the scenic route. Take a moment to converse with the neighbors.